Hey guys, welcome to another reading vlog. So it is Monday, it is my lunch time. Yesterday I finished my first vlog for Bookoplathon and I finished Frenchman's Creek by Daphne du Maurier. So I'm all ready to dive into a new book. I have done my new role for Bookoplathon and I will insert it right here. All right, I have three chapters left of Frenchman's Creek. Basically I have about 30 pages left, I'd say, so I think it's time to roll it again. Alright, six. Feed scroll, interesting. Okay, let's see what we come up with. So, with that out of the way, I'm gonna immediately change it. So, I was not really having a lot, a lot of luck with the Instagram feeds when I was going through it. And, you know, I was already getting acquainted with the idea of, okay, I'll have to add another book to my TBR, try to still get around to the books that I have on my physical TBR or that I have on my September TBR. But, you know, it's going to be difficult. I'm going to have to maybe compromise and just, you know, not read all the books that I'd set myself out to read. And then I opened Instagram. And the first picture that appeared was a picture of Steph Love with her Brandon Sanderson shelf. And it had this particular book on it, The Bands of Mourning, the book that I was trying to fit in. So I've just decided that either that is just a dirty joke that the powers that be were playing on me, in which case jokes on them, I'm cheating, I am taking this one. I don't have official footage of me checking it because it wasn't the moment in which I was looking for my new read, but I can promise to you guys the second time that I opened Instagram that day, I had this one as the first thing that popped up. I also was so indignant that I left a message like, where was this picture when I was scrolling Instagram? So you can enjoy that little uh, screenshot here, but I'm going with it. I don't care. <laughs> Bands of Morning is my plan for this week at least. This vlog is going to be a mess in some sense because it's going to be this week from Monday up until Friday. Then I'm leaving on holiday and so my holiday footage is going to be in a different vlog. I return the Sunday afterwards and so from then until the end of the month is also still going to be in this vlog. And I'll also kind of give you an overview of what I've read in my holiday already in this vlog. So it's going to be the remainder of this month is going to be stuck within this vlog. But you won't see any sort of B-roll from my holiday within this one. That's the long and short of it because what a weird explanation did I give for that. But so yeah, I'm diving into the bands of mourning. If you've been following my channel, you know that for all of these I've been doing a spoiler filled vlog but when I dove into error 2 I've also been mentioning my non-spoilery thoughts on these books within this vlog and so I will also do the same here. It's not defined So I'm already happy because I've finished the first part of the book and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really um, enjoying my time with it. I am listening to the audiobook, which I didn't do for the previous ones because it is not on script, so I have to use like an audible credit for it. But I don't know whether that is like the reason why I'm enjoying this one or not. But so far I'm really enjoying the ride and the things that it is diving into. Alright, I think I'm definitely long overdue for an update on Bands of Mourning, but I am still absolutely enjoying it and, you know, I really actually started to fear for a character just now, so uh, it's doing a whole lot of things that I'm really enjoying here and some of which I cannot go into in this vlog, of course, because of spoilers. Quite a lot that I cannot go into in this vlog because, you know, it's the third book in the second series, so 
yeah, that's basically what I've got going now. I am currently very much chaotically combining multiple sprints. So I have Sasha's sprints over there and Becca's Patreon sprints over here. And then I should be editing because, you know, I really, I really need to, I need to get all the editing done before I leave on holiday. And it's becoming tighter and tighter to do so. But I still wanted to give you a little bit of an update before I dive into that because, you know, uh, I still need vlog content, I guess. <laughs> so I am some 70 pages away from finishing Fans of Morning. So I thought I'd already do my next roll. These are going to be reads that I complete, hopefully, in my holiday, but it'll depend what is going to come up here. And of course, they rolled all the way over there. But so a five and a two, so seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. That's the second time that I land on what I need. So I've landed on big book, and that means that I can fit in one of my two remaining TBR books. <sighs> it is 11 o'clock on Friday evening, and I have just packed my luggage, edited my final videos. It's uploading at this moment. I still need to do the description of like three videos or something like that. And then tomorrow morning, I still need to water the plants, feed the cats, and then um, do a final check, I guess, of whether I have everything. In any case, my um, blanket needs to go with me because we don't have blankets there. So that's, of course, something for the morning. But so, yeah, I am about ready to depart. So the final thing that remains is for me to update this vlog. I haven't vlogged a whole lot throughout this week, especially not on this vlog, because aside from reading in a book that I wasn't going to spoil for you guys in this vlog, I didn't do a whole lot except for editing and watching Buffy in the Buffy watch along. So my life has been a bit boring this week, but I'll hopefully make up for that in the second part of this vlog. In any case, I finished Bands of Morning yesterday and I really enjoyed it a whole lot. It's my favorite book within Mistborn Era 2 and I would definitely say that it's like four star, five star, somewhere in there. But in any case, I really highly enjoyed it and so I'm super happy with that because I was really quite disappointed with the second one and so so happy to see that I'm fallen that I've fallen in love with this third one. But so yeah, um I'm happy that I got it done and that as a result of me getting it done on Thursday, I had the entire day now to, I mean, the entire day, the entire work, the entire after work session to be able to, you know, get shit done because it was needed and I was procrastinating even with just having an evening left. So, um, me and my friend are both in the same sort of mood. Both of us have been like last minute doing 20,000 things and we haven't really been. Um, doing a lot of preparation for this trip, so it'll be interesting to see how this trip is going to go. But, I mean, in any case, it'll just be super relaxing. Uh, we, I think we both are in the same sort of mental state at the moment, where if we both haven't really done a lot of preparation into it, then we'll both just be, like, very much, you know, on the fly during the holiday itself, where we'll just, like, see take every day as it comes and just decide on the day itself what we're going to do with that day. So I think we'll still have amazing amount of fun. And so I'm very much looking forward to it. Hey guys, I'm back from holiday and I got almost no reading done on my holiday. So I am a third of the way through Red Seas on the Red Skies. So today my goal is continuing on with that one and getting a lot further into it. Now, I did miss like two Patreon sprints, I think, and one public sprint session, maybe even two while I was on holiday. So I've got more than enough sprints going to get me through this day. So the goal today definitely is going to be getting through a lot more. I'm not going to promise getting through the entirety of Red Seas on the Red Skies because I know that for Brecca sprints at least, she uses Dia sprints and so it's possible that I'm going to already start the blade itself as well throughout this um, day. And so in that case, I might not finish Red Seas on the Red Skies, but then hopefully I can get progress in both of these, quite some progress. It is World Championship Cycling today here. I am definitely not all that interested, but they will be passing by my balcony. So I'll just see if I can kind of figure out at what time they're passing by and sort of just like be sitting on my balcony at that point in time so that I can kind of 
secondhand watch what's going on and pretend like I care. <laughs> So one sprint down, so I watched the public sprints of last week. And so in those four hours, I got like 10% or so further into Red Seas on the Red Skies. And I read like the first 30 pages of the blade itself. So not super good because I'm having troubles focusing. But so I'm going to be putting on some more sprints now. And hopefully I'm going to really be like super focused now. I'm definitely getting into the story a lot more. So Red Seas on the Red Skies is a sequel to the, not the blade itself, is a sequel to The Lies of Locke and Mora. So it's the second book in the Gentleman Bastard series. In this one, we follow up from the first one. Our protagonists have now moved on to a new city. They are now in Tal Varar, and they are once again plotting a big scheme against a certain person. And they are also getting involved in another person's scheme and trying to weasel their way out of that. It also once again has like past and present future timeline and I'm still somewhat confused between the two timelines and still somewhat like whenever we switch timeline I still have to like reorient myself um, so hopefully that will like get better the further we get into the book this happened with me as well like the first time around though it wasn't as big of a difference I guess the first time around because there was a much bigger difference in the two timelines you know you we were seeing Locke as he was being trained as he was growing up um, versus his present day timeline but now we're looking at like present day timeline and then a timeline that is like two years ago for example so we definitely do have uh, more similarities between the two times making it a little bit more difficult for me to be able to follow along with what is actually happening or what actions belong to which timeline so hopefully that will just get a little bit better as I get a little bit further into this story but so I'm still hoping to get a lot further into it today I was kind of hoping to finish it now I will be like happy if I get to like the two-third mark within it and I'm really not sure whether I'm going to be able to finish the blade itself still this month but I'm so hopeful that I will because you know that would mean that I have like the reduction of my physical TBR that I need to hit every month in order to hit my goal by the end of the year. So if I don't finish it within this month, I'll be like scrambling behind a little bit. So hopefully I can still fit it in within this month. Hey guys, it is a Monday. My hair is still a mess, but yeah, what else is new? But so yesterday I got to the tutors part I got two thirds of the way through Red Seas on the Red Skies. I'm really enjoying it, though. One thing that I'm not really enjoying is the fact that it's kind of started out with that dual timeline, the way that we used to from the first book. And as I said, it's a little bit different than this one. But in the section that I'm in now, uh, like I think for about like since the midway point of the book, for example, something like that, we haven't had that anymore. We've really kind of given up on the dual timeline and I don't really like that. I don't like when a book starts off playing with timelines like that and then it abandons that midway through. I always feel like if you're gonna introduce something structurally like that then you need to carry through through the entire book. But so yeah, um, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's really very much taking the pirates vibes at this moment. So at this moment we are very much in the sort of pirate section of this book. For a very long time I was kind of thinking like why do I feel or like why was I told that there are pirate vibes to this story? But we have progressed to the part of the story where it is like that. And I enjoyed having some sort of like female pirate figures in there. A badass female pirate captain who is taken to seas with her children on board. And so I do like that story and that character being in there. Uh, and I'm enjoying myself the way that I have with the first one. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe I feel like I'm missing a 
little bit more of the sort of like banter that was there in the first one. And I really want this book to now get to the sort of like section where they've made all of their plans, they're being thwarted the way that they're being thwarted. And I want this sort of like to get to its conclusion now and to kind of toward the people who are toward them and be able to live out their plans. I'm really, I'm really ready for that section of the book now. Um, and I don't really feel like we are moving towards that at this point in time, but I'm guessing we are because at this point in time, because I uh, read a little bit more in it this morning, so I have under 20% to go. So we should definitely be moving towards the conclusion, uh, somewhere tonight. Don't know whether I'll be able to finish it tonight. It's my sister's birthday. I'm going over to her place in order to give her a gift and we're having Chinese together. So I will not have as much time to read tonight as, as I was originally planning to. But so yeah, I'm going to be rounding off this vlog clip and finish by, and filming my October TBR. And I have no idea what I'm going to finish for September in the end because you know, I still have the blade itself and I don't know whether that'll be, I mean, realistically speaking, I won't be finishing that in September. I guess I need to admit that to myself. Just finished Red Seas on the Red Skies. I didn't like it as much as I liked The Lives of Locke Lamora. I think there were certain things about it that I can't go into because of spoilers that just didn't work as well for me. And then some of them were kind of counteracted <laughs> so they weren't as bad or like the thing that I didn't like about it was kind of counterbalanced to some extent but still I think I like Lives of Locke Lamour a lot more because of just the general way in which the scheme worked and the counter scheme and I think also because there were some people on the other side of the scheme that I also liked and so I didn't have that this time around, and so I kind of missed that, I guess, to have somebody you're rooting for who Locke is trying to screw over. And I kind of assumed that these characters would be part of this book as well, because, you know, at the end of the first book that kind of seemed to be the case, but that's not been the way that things have rolled out. So I'm hoping to see these characters in, like, book three or something. But in any case, it is the 27th. It is three more nights until the month is over, and I'm going to be rolling again. Final roll for Becca's Bookopolathon. All right, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine humans. That is perfect. I can fit in whatever I want with that, meaning I'm going to be fitting in the Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. Hey guys, so it is the 30th of September. I'm gonna be rounding out the vlog after today, but so we still have one evening left, but I don't expect to finish anything else anymore at this point in time. So I did get to like the third of the way through um, the blade itself yesterday. So I kind of pushed myself to do it because um, there were sort of like very long sprints going on. So I kind of made myself go through with that a little bit more. But I'm actually also reading The State of Fear by Michael Crichton at the same time. So I haven't been making great progress with the blade itself because I feel like I cannot proceed in it for a long time. I feel like I easily lose my focus with it because there isn't really a direction to the story yet. And if I understand correctly, there isn't really going to be a lot of direction to the story, at least not to this first one. I am enjoying it. Like I do like the writing style. I do find the characters intriguing, the world intriguing and things like that. 
but because there isn't much of a forward push with it, I'm also finding it a little bit more difficult to stick to it. So in order to combat that and not just push through that one book and, you know, make myself read in that one book the whole time, even though my pace with it is so slow, I am listening to The State of Fear by Michael Crichton at the same time. I really like Michael Crichton's thrillers. Um, you know, Jurassic Park is one of my favorite movies of all times, and I really love that book as well. So I have been like slowly going through some of his other works as well over the past few years. But so for tonight, the plan is I need to edit a vlog that needs to go up tomorrow. I need to go to the stores. I mean, I don't need to go to stores. I want to go to the stores to get a few, like some things that I really need, some basic things, but mainly just to get Halloween decorations. I want to get some candy from there as well, some sort of like vinegar. I need to return my books to the library. I have not read a single one of them, but they serve their purpose. They avoided me buying new books. Hey guys, it is October. So this reading vlog is going to be ended right here because it is just the second half of the September reading vlog. So for Becca's Book Club on, I managed to finish five books. I didn't finish the final one, the sixth book, uh, which is The Blade Itself. I didn't even get halfway because Yesterday evening I was like feeling super tired. I was very frustrated with my editing because my hard drive kept like disconnecting so I had to like restart the edit process a lot of times in the end I gave up so I have to edit the video for today today but um, I was very frustrated with that and then I was just like oh, I'm just gonna lie in bed and read a little bit from bed but I fell asleep like 20 times in the 10 pages that I was trying to read so I only got through 10 pages and didn't get to anything more and then just decided you know what clearly I'm very tired let's just go to sleep so yeah I didn't get a whole lot more done in that I did read a whole lot in State of Fear by Michael Crichton yeah, I, because I listened to it when I was going to the city center and then I also listened to it when I was cooking. So I think I read about 80 pages in that. So I'm like 200 pages into The State of Fear. Uh, so I'm really loving that one. I'm really going through that one pretty quickly. I really like Michael Crichton's thrillers, as I said before. And so, and so in the sort of like reading session I had in it yesterday, we were like mainly following what is clearly now our protagonist, which is some lawyer who was working for this sort of like philanthropist who was investing a lot of money into climate change, into, you know, organizations that have to do with climate change. But last minute he was kind of withdrawing some of his money and then he disappeared. So that's where we are in the story at this point in time. So gonna be about like trying to figure out what happened there what made him draw back his funding what made him decide otherwise um, and you know what happened there did he just disappear it is being said that he committed suicide because his car went off of the railing so it is assumed that he is dead but somebody has already indicated that maybe he just disappeared because apparently he was being very paranoid about being followed up until that point so that is going to be it for my updates today. So uh, I don't think that, the, so I'm not entirely sure what this vlog is going to be. I'm going to refilm some clips that I took yesterday evening because I tried to show you like what I got in the city center, but it was like such poor lighting. Thank you, but fate. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to reshoot. So I'm going to reshoot some of that footage so that you can have that hole in like better lighting. Refilming this in daylight because I tried to give you guys a haul yesterday, but like it was super dark, so I didn't really like the footage. So let's just do it again. Okay. So when I sit down to read, I usually do it from that place. Don't mind the spot on my sofa that's just from like fabric cleaner, which apparently doesn't really work very well on that particular fabric. But so I usually sit over there to read, but my lamp is over there. So hello lamp. And it does not like the lighting of that lamp versus me lying in that position means that, you know, a lot of times my book is in the shadow. So I bought a new lamp. So this is a reading lamp over there. I'll just remove this thing. 
that is my new reading lamp it is of course yellow my favorite color and so that is going to be the thing that is lighting my way whenever i am reading over there i <laughs> still have the plastic from the cover so still needs to remove that pretend like that, that didn't happen then i also got a book that is the sort of like shameful part of the haul i guess because <laughs> i think right before going i told you guys like i'm returning my library books and they did what they had to do because they prevented me buying books and then i bought a book so i bought big panda and tiny dragon by james norbury so this also is like let me get better lighting here so this also is an instagram account so you can go and check out their cartoons on instagram this is kind of like the boy the the boy, the fox, and the mole, I think was the name, right? Um, so it is like illustrations with like inspirational texts and things like that. And so it is divided into the four seasons. So I actually read the autumn section yesterday and I'll probably reread it multiple times throughout the autumn season. But it is going to be one that sticks around on my TBR until we get to summer because, you know, I will be just reading it throughout the season. So I'm actually not going to add it to my TBR list, but I will use my sort of like um, bookish budget to buy it. You know, I will remove the credits from my buying system, but I won't add it to my official TBR. So I don't need to finish this in order to reach zero TBR. But um, yeah, with this chaos, we're going to be ending this video now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you next. Yeah. It's like I'm talking into her butthole, but yeah, see you next time.